very simple. When you are a little perturbated, when you are a little sick, something like this, you change your movement. So I only record the movement of the arms a few minutes and I quantify this movement thanks to a software I shall show you in a moment. First, I record the arts trajectory on the glass and I listen to the time. Then, I take the trajectory on a sheet of paper like this. This is an experiment I have made and then I put this sheet of paper on my PC. And a sheet of paper sent on my PC. And then in my PC I use a software special created to do so and I opened a special software allowing to analyze the trajectory and doing so I can have the linear speed, the angular speed as well as the orientation of the arms towards a precise point. I do so for, for example, 10 arms of several colonies. And now the GSM is activated and I put it again under the arm nest. Now we look again to the arms. Look to that arm. She's walking, but she's walking a little sinuously. This one is also reacting. This one also. This one also. This one also tried to move, but she moved with some difficulty. You see? That one. This one also has some difficulty. Look to the X. She has difficulty to move the X. And you can see that the arms are a little perturbated. This one also. She turned to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. This one leaves his at an antenna, this one also, they move slowly, turn, turn again, are paining his legs, he cannot move, he tried to move, he cannot. This one has difficulty with his legs. This arm is suffering. You see the movement of this one, the legs. And the movement is low and sinuous. This one is also now suffering. Look, look how they have difficulty in progressing. This one also. One step, they try to make another step, another step. They cannot move their legs as normally.
Yeah. And they try to avoid the place where they are suffering and to go out of this place.